join me in another just typical day in the life type video showing you the different meals that I'm cooking for my family and I'm doing some cleaning and organizing today and I'm also going to be addressing something that I get asked so very often more towards the end of this video. All right, so this morning I actually did not film making breakfast. We had a very simple breakfast, just some like sausage and eggs. And actually I slept in today and my husband had breakfast mostly made when I woke up. And so I did not get a video of breakfast being made, but in this clip I am actually getting everything all cleaned up and getting the table all wiped down. This past week, I was actually gone on a little trip in Utah. I talked about it in a couple videos back. And the house needs a little bit extra of attention. Um, it was fine, like when I got home, everything was well put together. My husband did a great job. He had obviously had all the kids besides the baby. Um, the baby came with me. But there's just little things that a mom does that other people just don't really notice. And so no big deal, but just getting the high chair like cleaned off a little better than normal, like scrubbing the table with things that are sticky on there, probably from all week and vacuuming the floor, just a few extra things need to be done today. Um, like I said, when I got home, the house was well put together, but there was just a few things I'm like, all right, so today I'm gonna spend a little extra time cleaning and kind of like deep cleaning a few things that just need to be done. And so we're still getting a lot of really nice, pretty flowers outside, even though it's getting warmer and closer to fall, or sorry, cooler and closer to fall time. We still have a lot of flowers. So I have a nice arrangement on the table. Um, there was a couple apples in our fruit bowl there that were starting to go bad. So anytime there's fruit that is starting to go bad, I will just slice it up and I put it in the freezer and we will use that for smoothies. That's kind of my way of making sure nothing goes bad. I don't want to waste any food, but if I just put it into the freezer, then it will freeze and we can um, use that later on for smoothies. All right, so I'm getting some dishes done. And while I was doing the dishes, I noticed that the sink was really dirty. Um, mainly because I use a lot of cast iron, I feel like my sink gets stained up maybe quicker than other sinks just with the cast iron like kind of stains it black. But it can get really clean with just a little bit of like baking soda and vinegar. In fact, I actually have a recipe on my blog and like tutorial on how to clean a sink. Um, I'll link it below, but this morning I decided it was time to give this sink a good cleaning. So I'm just sprinkling it with a little bit of baking soda. And then I'm making a mixture of vinegar and water and I will spray that on the baking soda and then you just let it sit. I was doing some other things around the house and I let this sit for probably like 15 minutes um, and then came back to it and scrubbed it. This part right here, you see where I was spraying a little bit more. I already had sprayed it before this and then let it sit. And now I'm using some sal sud. Um, this helps whenever you have some more hard stains, probably like the thing like I was saying from the cast iron, and it just gets it really clean. So you can see that just a little extra scrubbing made the sink look so much better. All right, so I'm gonna take a quick moment to thank today's video sponsor, Element. Element is a tasty electrolyte drink with everything you need and nothing you don't. I feel so good about giving Element to my family because there's no added sugars, no artificial ingredients, no fillers, it's gluten-free, it's just all the good stuff. So it's perfectly suitable for all different diet types, including keto and paleo. When you sweat, the primary electrolyte loss is sodium. And when sodium is not replaced, it's common to experience muscle cramps and fatigue. 
drinking element can help with those electrolyte deficiencies, symptoms. And if you live an active lifestyle or you spend any time outside, it is definitely a good idea to drink element to replenish those electrolytes. Right now, Element is offering my viewers a free sample pack with any order. That'll give you a sample of all eight of the different Element flavors. So this is a great way to try all the different flavors or even share Element with a friend. To get yours, you can use the link down in my description box below, or you can go to drinkelement.com slash our oily house. That's D-R-I-N-K L-M-N-T dot com slash our oily house. All right, so now I'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning here in my living room. We keep most of the toys in our kids' rooms, but there is like a basket of toys that goes underneath the coffee table. So I like to keep those there just for, you know, when they're playing out here. And lots of toys migrate out throughout the day, don't get me wrong. But um, at the end of the day, we usually just put all the toys back into their rooms. They have some toy boxes in their rooms and also we have a little like play area in our basement. But I try to keep the main areas like not cluttered with toys. It's just, I don't know. I don't really like things out everywhere. I'm kind of, wouldn't be called a minimalist necessarily, but I like minimal amounts of things and I don't like having a lot out. It just stresses me out. And so I'm kind of getting that cleaned up. And then I'm moving this coffee table. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but this coffee table is one that my husband built in my last house. And it used to be much bigger than this, but when we moved to this house, it was way too big for the space. And so he recently cut it down and made it smaller, um, put a new top on it, restained it and kind of repainted it. And it fits in this area so much better. So I really like that. And then I just got this little end table and lamp. I still do not like the way that this little area looks. I am working on this. Um, I also got a new frame TV for above my mantle and still playing around with that and finding the exact art that I want for it and decorating my mantle here. Now it is not, I, I pulled everything down and I, and I am cleaning this and taking care of all of um, dust and different things that was on here from my husband like hanging the TV and then obviously you see a couple of my plants have died so I need to replace those. This area needs a whole touch up and I am currently collecting some things for my mantle and so hopefully I'll have a video soon showing you the different things that I got for the mantle. Um, it's a work in progress. I'm not the best at decorating but I love a space to look nice and so I am just slowly collecting things and um, at the time of this voiceover I actually did get some new plants already for my um, little hanging plants there so that part looks a little better and I have gotten a couple things for the mantle so I'll show you kind of as I go along. All right, so I'm in the kitchen here making some lunch. I wasn't sure what I was gonna make today when I came in to start lunch and I had stuff I had some ground beef to frost it, so I was thinking about making meatloaf, but instead I'm making little like mini meatloafs, mainly because it takes way less time to cook. Um, basically they're shaped like a burger, but it has all the same things in there as meatloaf would. And so um, making a little mini meatloafs. And then over the weekend, my daughter did a um, maker's market and her and my sister's daughter made a bunch of little apple sourdough apple hand pies and we had a lot of leftover apple pie filling and pie crust and so I'm actually going to make an apple pie today. Now we end up using this um, after lunch. It doesn't, we don't have it like directly after lunch. It's kind of like an afternoon snack but while I was in the kitchen it was in the refrigerator. I didn't want anything to go bad. So I'm like, you know what, I'd rather just make that up. And then I only had one pie crust sitting out. So I decided to make a little like crumb topping to put on top of the pie. And so, um, I don't know, kind of like an apple crisp pie. It was really good. And I just stuck that in while I was making the meatloafs and let that bake. And then now I'm cleaning up and this countertop actually needed a little extra cleaning because my daughter had made all the pie crust actually while I was gone on my trip. And you know, she had some, there was a lot of dried crusty 
pie crust that had probably been there for a while that needed to be taken care of. So I had to do a little extra cleaning here as well. Um, making some french fries to go along with our meatloaf and then I'm also going to be steaming up some corn. And now I'm actually making a little topping here that will go on top of the meatloaf. And so it's a little bit of like ketchup and brown sugar. I just think it's so good to add a little sweet topping to meatloafs. It's my favorite way to make it. And when you add in the brown sugar, it kind of gets a little bit like crusty. Also like a little glaze basically on top of the meatloaf. So adding that on top now, and then I'll let these finish baking while I finish up the french fries and the steam corn. So after lunch, I am making some ice cream. My kids were like, hey, if we're having apple pie, we should have ice cream. I'm like, you know what, you're right. And we have milk and so let's do it. So I'm getting some ice cream going and then this afternoon during nap time, I'm going to be busy doing a lot of different cleaning and organizing um, for this ice cream. It is so easy to make, it's literally, milk and sugar and vanilla and then you have to have an ice cream maker which i have the one that i use linked down below um so so simple and so good and obviously too you need cream which i just get the cream off the top of our milk um i always tell you guys we get our milk from my sister and you can see in this second jar here when i go to get the cream that cream line is just huge it's it's there's so much cream in this milk so i'm just scraping off the top the cream to put in here to make this ice cream now if you don't have um, like raw milk from a dairy farm, you can just use regular milk and cream to make ice cream, but oh man, there is nothing better than this. Um, I also was just kind of combining together some of the milk that was in leftover in the one jar, so we only have one extra jar in my fridge. I just always try to consolidate things to keep the refrigerator more organized. It's the easiest way in my opinion, to kind of keep things clean and put together and also just to be able to fit everything in the fridge. All right, so after I did my dishes, I realized this window is extremely dirty and needed to be clean. I feel like this one gets dirty a lot because I'm constantly like opening and closing it with my hands being dirty or wet, I mean, so water like drips down onto the sink and then this door gets dirty because you know, little fingers, little kids. I mean, the top doesn't get as dirty as the bottom, but every once in a while, you know, every window needs to be cleaned. But the bottom of this door can get so dirty from, um, you know, our kitchen's right off of this sunroom. And so sticky fingers come over and slobbery mouths. And, oh man, it's fine. It's just something that has to be done. Every once in a while is getting this door recleaned. One of my five-year-olds always spins our quiet afternoon time out in the sunroom playing toys and reading and um, so that's why you see him here in the background this is kind of where he plays during quiet time so anyway just kind of cleaning this door frame like I said there's just a lot of things that needed to be cleaned today um, I'm also tackling both of the bathrooms um, this is something that I do pretty much daily where I, well, at least this bathroom off of the kitchen that needs to be wiped down, the mirror wiped, the toilet just scrubbed. I'm, I don't know. I have lots, lots of little boys and bathrooms are just one of those things that, um, I don't know. I, one time I always tell this story and it's so dumb, but I had a friend once, um, that had a couple of boys and she had this sign in her bathroom that said, there's a clean bathroom in heaven for moms of little boys. And when I first read that sign, I was like, I don't know, probably like 15 or 16. And so I was like, oh, okay, whatever. And now that I'm a mom with little boys, I'm like, oh man, there's gonna be a clean bathroom. <laughs> I mean, I know that's just silly and not even true, but it's just, it's just one of those things I've stuck in my head because if you have little boys, you know, I'll just leave it at that. If you have little boys, you know, the bathroom, the bathroom issues. My sister has lots of little boys too, and we are constantly talking about the bathroom struggle. So anyway, cleaning the bathroom, I'm shaking out this rug outside. Um, I don't like washing or vacuuming my bath mats like too often. I feel like it kind of like messes them up and like pulls the pieces off of it. And so shaking them out and just getting everything off of them and even just letting them hang out in the sun is sometimes the best thing for those. All right, so now I'm out in the sunroom 
cleaning up and I'm actually going to be vacuuming this whole couch and I am ready to talk to you all about something. I tell you what, on every single, and I know, I always like to make my disclaimer, I know I don't owe any type of exclamation or anything or have to explain myself, but sometimes after you get the same comment over and over and over again, you just want to. And so here we go. We are going to talk about my voice. This is something I get asked every single video, multiple time. People are telling me that I need to go get my voice checked out. Doctors and nurses comment on this and tell me to go to the ENT. Um, people that are just literally say, what's up with her voice? What's wrong with her voice? I love watching your videos, but I can't stand your voice. And other nice people tell me that they really like my voice. Here's the deal. My voice is, this is the genetic thing that I have like kind of a raspy, crackly voice. This is the way I've always been. I am not sick. I feel fine. This is how my voice always is and always has been. I remember being a kid and out on the playground and like running around and all the little girls like screaming in that like high pitched sound and I was running around like ah like screaming like a little boy. I, I can't go high pitch. I have an extremely raspy sounding voice and it is 100% genetic. If you knew my aunts and also like some of my dad's cousins, like all women, <laughs> you would be like, oh, okay, now I understand. That's where it comes from. And I personally, like, I, I think that it could be, like I, I always tell this to my family, like some of the comments I get, I'll, I'll screenshot them and send them to my family. Just cause I, I think it's funny. They're, they actually don't even bother me. Comments don't bother me at all. I don't know. I have a hard heart, I guess. I don't know what it, or what it, what it is, but I don't get bothered by it, but I'll screenshot them and send them to them. And we all like, kind of like laugh about it. But like, this is the way that I have always sounded. And it's not, it's not anything wrong. I'm not sick. Cause people are always thinking I'm sick. Oh, I know where I was going with this. Some people in my family think that it might be worse through video, like the way that I sound through video, because I will say I get comments about my voice in real life sometimes, but not near as much as I do on YouTube. And so I think that the recording and through like the computer or TV or whatever, maybe makes it sound even more elevated. Now, obviously I watch all of my videos when I rewatch them, like after editing them and I don't notice it at all, but you all do. And, and everyone's very concerned and think that I have like a burnt throat or I don't know, I've gotten so many things. And so I'm here to tell y'all that I am just fine. There's nothing wrong with my voice. This is a completely genetic thing. And this is how I've been my entire life. In fact, one time um, when I was a teenager, like 16, I worked at a restaurant uh, at Applebee's and I answered the phone. And when I did the whole like spiel of like, thanks for calling Applebee's, yada, 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 someone on the other end said, are you a blank and said my maiden name? And I was like, uh, yeah. And they said they could tell just because of my voice. So... Anyway, I have cousins that sound like this. This is just the way I am. So anyway, like I said, I know that I don't have to explain all this and I'm going to get all these nice people like, you don't have to explain. I love your voice and thank you. I appreciate that. But after getting this comments, I mean, I'm not even kidding. Probably in my YouTube career, like thousands of times, I just want everyone to know that there is nothing wrong. I'm not sick. I don't have a cold every day. This is just how I sound. So... Anyway, there's my long story about my genetics, and now I am back in the kitchen cleaning. You guys saw back there, I served up that apple pie. It was so good. Um, like I said, it was like kind of going to be a dessert after lunch, and I'm like, oh, maybe we'll save it for dinner, and then we made the, the ice cream. When the ice cream was done, we decided just to eat it, so it was kind of like a little afternoon snack really yummy. We all enjoyed it. And now I'm back in the kitchen cleaning appliances. I have black appliances in here. That's just what was in the house when we moved in. And personally, yeah, I would change them, but they are fine. They're all working, doing well. So it just is what it is. But I feel like they get so dirty. Stainless steel and black. I mean, I had white in my last house and I don't remember anything being as stained up as they get in here. And so I'm going around and this is something that I have to do 
another thing that just more often, I should do it more often than I do, but sometimes also I'm just like sick of it. So I'm going around and wiping down appliances and cabinets and, you know, just whenever you're baking and cooking and things are spilling and you don't clean it right away, all these things can get kind of dirty. So it's just time to go around the kitchen and kind of do a little bit of deep cleaning. So that's what I did today. And now I am getting dinner going, but before making dinner, I am making my daily matcha tea. Um, I made this with honey because we were out of maple syrup and I'll say it wasn't near as good. The honey like kind of got all gooey and crystallized a little bit because of the cold milk. It was still really good, but I definitely prefer this with honey. I just like to mix milk, vanilla, maple syrup and froth it up and put it over ice and I will just sip on this every afternoon. It's my favorite drink. Oh man, it's so good. So anyway, getting my matcha going and now I'm getting dinner going. I'm making a brisket today. So I'm gonna get this brisket in the oven because I'm gonna let it slow cook for a few hours before dinner. So first I made a little dry rub with different spices and then I'm pan searing it. I always start with that fat side down just to get the extra grease in there before flipping it. Um, briskets are such a wonderful cut of meat, so good. And if you make it the right way, this is like the best. I don't know, we, we love having a good brisket. In fact, it's always like one of the last cuts I pull out because I keep saving it. So I don't wanna like mess it up or like, oh, it feels like it needs to be like a special time to make the brisket. And here we are just on like a normal Monday night getting ready to go to soccer and I'm making a brisket because it was defrosted and ready to go. So after searing it, I always lay it down on a bed of um, onions and then I added in some red wine vinegar and a maple little topping and now I'm mixing together some tomato paste with some water just all different kinds of seasonings to make this broth really yummy um, putting this in the oven just on like 300 degrees and I'm gonna let that slow cook all right so for my sides with my brisket I'm going to be just be making some mashed potatoes and roasted carrots my family does not love like carrots and I guess like steamed potatoes and carrots so I used to just kind of like cut up potatoes and carrots and celery and onions and like put it in with like a roast or a brisket and none of them eat that as well um, including my husband I guess I don't even really love it either it's just kind of like mushy and not as good but they all sorry about this camera angle here I realized after that shot that <laughs> the camera was like completely sideways but anyway they eat them way better if I make like a mashed potatoes or a baked potato or fried potatoes than they do like steamed and the same with the carrots no one really loves um, like steamed carrots, but if I roast them and they're a little bit crispy um, or raw, my kids love raw carrots, but um, roast it, they really like that. So it's a little extra step, a few more dishes, but I find if they eat it better, I mean, you know, and everyone likes it, it's worth it. So for this, I am just doing my carrots. I just peel them and slice them and cover them with a little bit of oil. And then I put some spices on here. Now this one spice I put on here, um, the like mixture that I use is kind of spicy and my kids actually complain that it was too spicy. Some of them, I have some kids that love spice and some that don't. And so I realized hindsight, I probably shouldn't have put that on, but I for one thought they were so good. And then after um, I shred my carrots, I always tell you guys I save all my vegetable peels and things like this for bone broth. So sticking it into a Ziploc bag that was already in the freezer with some other vegetable scraps and then I'll pull that out and throw it into bone broth um, the next time that I make it. You guys also know my love for just kind of cooking or cleaning while as I go. So while my potatoes are boiling and getting ready to um, mash up, I am doing the dishes and putting away things that can be put away and wiping off the countertops. I just think it's so much easier if I don't save everything for the end and just kind of do a little bit as I go. It just makes my job so much easier. Also, after a long day in the kitchen, it's always time to sweep. This floor can be swept 50 times a day and you'll still find crumbs on the floor, but you know, that's just the way it is when you have lots of little, little ones and whenever you cook a lot from home. So that's just a constant job is sweeping. Anyway, no final clip. It was really delicious. And thank you all for watching. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. I get out a new video every single week.